Hi everyone, welcome to this video which is a quick standing desk hack. You may have heard of the benefits of working at a standing desk. This video is good for people who already have a sit down desk, they're happy with that, but they also want the option of working at a standing desk from time to time. This option also doesn't take up much space and it's quite cheap. So this setup here, this overbed table costs 50 pounds from Amazon. This is a standard bookshelf from Ikea. This one here is a Billy bookshelf. I'll put all the details of the equipment I use in the description below the video, but this one here currently costs 55 pounds. So if we just have a look at how this is set up, the great thing about this is the monitor height and the keyboard and mouse height can be adjusted independently, which is another thing that even more expensive standing desks often do not have. So, for example, if we just take a look at this, we've actually got height adjustment settings here for the monitor. So with a bookshelf, most standard bookshelves, you can actually adjust the height of the shelves. So with this particular one from Ikea, you can see that you can adjust it at really good increments upwards and downwards. I'm six foot one, and with this standing desk, I can actually work at eye level height. Now also, with the overbed table, we can fully adjust the height of the keyboard and the mouse. So you just turn that, and then you can adjust this down. And then you just loosen it, and you can adjust it right back up to whatever height you want to that. With this one here, I've actually marked the height that I've got it adjusted to. So you can just put a mark here with a texture and in that way you know what height you want it adjusted to. But of course you can always change that depending on what works for you. There is another way of doing it. There's another overbed table. That's the drive medical table, but that actually has a quick release. So it has a lever on the side and it moves up and down very easily. This one here, which is the Hong Kong overbed table, this one will come up to 128 centimeters, whereas the other one, which is the drive medical table, will come up to 114 centimeters. So if you're very tall, so I'm six foot one, then this table is actually going to be better for you because it will come all the way up. There are hundreds of different overbed tables which you can get on Amazon quite cheaply. So then if you want to move between this desk and your normal working desk, all you need to do is take the laptop out and plug it into your, your normal working desk. Another great thing about this approach is it doesn't take up much room. So let's say, for example, you don't want to use your stand-up desk anymore. You can simply adjust this down and you can just wheel this out of the way. And then you have a perfectly good bookshelf that you can use for other purposes as well. In terms of positioning of the screen, you can also just put your laptop up here and then you can adjust the shelves. So my recommendation is getting a large screen like this. So you just put your laptop and plug it into the screen. However, if you want to save money and you don't want to use a large screen, you can just use this as a standing desk with your laptop positioned there and adjusting the shelf height. In terms of the cables and getting them out of the way, can actually cut a hole in the backing here behind the, the bookshelf. You can use a, a box cutting knife for that quite easily, just cut that. The other thing is a lot of bookshelves have space at the back of the shelves between the shelf and the backing for you to feed the cables through. Just a note on safety, particularly if you have young children in the house, I would highly recommend fixing the bookshelf to the wall using a brace such as that. This actually comes with the IKEA bookshelf, so that will secure it to make sure it doesn't fall. Also, you definitely want to secure these cables or perhaps tape them to the side or put them around the back just so that there isn't a risk of somebody pulling on the cables causing uh, the screen to fall. In my case, there's no need to do that. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. 
and hopefully this can save you some money making your own standing desk. Thanks for watching.